Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to Shifting Lanes. My name is Hanson. Thanks for tuning into the video. And for this one, I'm sitting in the 2022 Toyota Tundra. And there's a lot to talk about in this video because this truck is all new. So it's got new engines, new suspension, everything is new, even a new infotainment system. So plenty to talk about and it all starts right now. Let's begin with the all new platform. This is a clean sheet design and there are no carried over parts from the second generation Tundra, which if you wanna see a review of one, please click the link up here. And with this new Tundra, Toyota has a design mantra called premium towing machine. So they wanted a truck that looks strong, capable and modern. And I think they've hit on all of those bullet points. Visually, the new Tundra looks like a mashup of both the Tacoma and the 4Runner. And that's not at all a bad thing. Those are really nice looking vehicles, and if you want to check out any of those reviews, please visit the links down below. This new Tundra has a muscular look, and Toyota wanted to emphasize that by introducing elements that interlock. So you'll see plenty of things like hexagons and other design elements that stack on top of each other. Like how the headlights, fenders, and vents seem to lock into one another like in Tetris. From the side, the new Tundra makes the old Tundra look fat and tired. This new design is more fit. There's now more hard edges and chiseled lines. The cabin also looks more sleek with the blacked out A and B pillars, giving it a helmet look. Although if you look closely, there's just something off about how this looks. More on that a bit later. And from the rear, this Tundra looks more updated. The tailgate has an integrated spoiler that gives it better aero and there's also some pretty attractive taillights. As for the bed, it comes in three different configurations, five and a half, a six and a half, and an 8.1 foot bed. And this bed is made of an aluminum reinforced composite material, which is the same bed material that's been used in Tacomas. Now the benefits of this design are, it won't rust, it's lighter, and it should be more impact resistant than steel beds. As for the tailgate, it's a pretty simple one, it can be opened either at the handle or conveniently from the button at the left taillight. There's also a nice big bold imprint depending on the grade. The tailgate will usually say Tundra on it, but with the TRD Pro, you get to show it off a bit more. Overall, this new Tundra is a good looking truck and depending on which grade you choose, of which there are six, there will be small variations in how this truck looks. For example, the grill can look like this, or this, or this, and finally this one for the TRD Pro. Note the additional light bar in this one. And on top of that, the fender flare also has different looks. It can come in black or color matched, and for the TRD Pro model, that part is finished in a pattern called Techno Camo. Additionally, the engineers have cleverly hidden some Easter eggs in the design of this truck, so make sure you stick around all the way till the end of this video for some of the hidden messages that I found. But there's really two big news stories with the new Tundra, and the first one is the engine. There's no more V8s in the Tundra. There's now a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 engine, and it makes 389 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. That's more than the previous V8. This new engine also has Toyota's D4S system, which means that it has both direct and port injection, so there should be better efficiency. The previous 5.7 liter V8 didn't have that. There will also be a hybrid system that they're calling the iForce Max, and you can tell which ones have this hybrid system as those trucks will have the faux venting on the hood, and it will also have a Toyota badge with the blue highlight on it, signifying that it's an electrified vehicle. The iForce Max hybrid setup consists of the same 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 with the addition of a motor generator mounted within the bell housing and a nickel metal hydride battery hidden under the rear seat. This system is going to make an impressive 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque. Both of these engines will come with a 10-speed automatic transmission and since this is our first look I don't know what it'll be like to drive this truck just yet, and I also don't have any mileage figures. But I think it will be better than the old Tundra, which is rated at 13 city and 18 highway. The other big news story with this Tundra is the rear suspension, and the upgrades on this one makes the second gen truck feel pretty ancient. 
There's no more leaf spring suspension for the back axle. It's now replaced with a multi-link suspension with coil springs. So this should ride a lot better and feel more like an SUV. Other trucks have done this. The Ram 1500 trucks dropped the leaf spring design over a decade ago. And the 2021 Ford F-150 Raptor now has a multi-link and coil spring design. For 2022, the Tundra is joining the trend. In addition, there's also air suspension for the rear axle. This is available on certain grades and it can do automatic and manual leveling. So you can set it to high for some off-roading and then you could set it to low for loading and unloading. And on top of all of that, there's an available adaptive variable suspension so the shocks can adjust damping forces based on road conditions. As for towing, Toyota claims a 12,000 pound max towing capacity and a 1,940 pound max payload. Those are big spec bumps over the previous generation truck and that shows that the new rear suspension design isn't at all a compromise. There's also going to be two towing modes. The standard tow haul mode is ideal for towing small box trailers and small boats. And then there's tow haul plus mode for towing bigger stuff like RVs, bigger trailers and bigger boats. All in all, very good set of upgrades over the second generation Tundra. Jumping to the inside, the new Tundra looks as impressive as the outside and is leaps and bounds more modern than the last one. There's a new 14 inch touchscreen with a high resolution display and there's an available 12.3 inch fully digital instrument cluster. If you're not a fan of big screens in your truck, the standard infotainment unit is 8 inches wide and there's also a more traditional cluster if that's more to your liking. The center console also looks more up to date with modern looking switches and buttons wireless charging pad, and other features that should be easy to use while wearing gloves. And if you need more proof that there's no old parts in this new Tundra, that cruise control stock that Toyota has been using for over 20 years is finally gone. Those controls are now on the steering wheel like most cars and SUVs. There's also a lot of amenities in this new truck. There's an available 360 degree camera view, lots of nice standard safety features like blind spot monitoring system, adaptive radar cruise control, and rear cross traffic alert. There's also a panoramic roof, built-in sunshade, and an available heated and ventilated seats for the front and rear passengers. That rear sliding window is still there as well, although that's not available for all Tundras. And lastly, the new Tundra will be the first vehicle to have Toyota's new infotainment system. If you're a tech nerd, You'll be so happy to see this upgrade considering that Toyota's current Entune infotainment system looks pretty sad by today's standards. This new infotainment system has an all new layout, faster processors, phone features like pinch to zoom, and my favorite, wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. There's also an assistant that you can call up by saying either hi, hey, hello, or okay Toyota. Hi Toyota, what do you want to do? Show my Bluetooth settings. Okay, showing Bluetooth settings. Now let's move on to the options. There will be two different four-door models. There's the double cab and there's the crew max cab. The double cab will have a choice of a six and a half or an 8.1 foot bed, while the crew max cab will come in either a five and a half or the new six and a half foot bed. And that powered rear window that is beloved by Tundra drivers can now only be found in the Crew Max cab. Apparently, it was a packaging and engineering nightmare to fit that into the double cab. The new Tundra will also come in six flavors. The SR, SR5, Limited, Platinum, 1794 Edition, and the TRD Pro. The iForce Max powertrain is standard on the TRD Pro, but it will be an option on the Limited, Platinum, and the 1794 edition grades. There will also be some packages of course. The TRD off-road package will be a pretty solid off-roading kit that's going to include the 18 inch TRD wheels or 20 inch wheels if you have the limited or the 1794 edition grades. There's also the Bilstein shocks, skid plates, mud guards, special grill with TRD lettering, and the TRD leather shift knob. If you get the 4x4 models, the TRD off-road package will also get you an electronic locking rear diff, multi-terrain select, and also crawl control. These features have been around for a while for other models, but they're now finally available for the Tundra. 
There's also the TRD Sport package, which is pretty much a visual upgrade, and that'll get you the 20 inch TRD wheels, TRD grille, lowered sport suspension, and also the TRD leather shift knob. Finally, the big boy Tundra, the TRD Pro, that will come with the typical upgrades you'd expect out of a TRD Pro model. So it's gonna have the two and a half inch diameter Fox shocks, and that beefy shock also changes the front suspension geometry a bit, resulting in a 1.1 inch front lift. So that should help show off some of the other TRD Pro upgrades like the red painted suspension parts, the front stabilizer bar, and that TRD aluminum front skid plate. In addition to that front light bar that I mentioned earlier, since the TRD Pro is a wide truck, it comes with a special front identification lamps. There's five of those yellow bulbs as required by law, so this new TRD Pro is going to look as menacing as that Ford F-150 Raptor. And if you look closely, those bulbs also say TRD on them. Can these bulbs considered Easter eggs? Maybe, maybe not. But there are some hidden messages I found during this truck's reveal, and if you found some more, please let the rest of us know in the comments below. The first one is the Michigan R&D and Texas-born stamping on the headlight brackets under the hood. This is highlighting the fact that, despite Toyota being a Japanese brand, these are American trucks to the core. It has been engineered in Michigan, the exterior and interior has been designed by Calti Design Research in Michigan and California, the engine and transmission has been built in West Virginia, and the truck is finished assembled in the San Antonio plant, just hours south of where this truck was revealed. Side note, that plant also explains why the luxury version of this truck is called the 1794 edition. That San Antonio, Texas manufacturing plant was once a 24,000 acre cattle ranch that was founded in the year 1794. The other Easter egg I found is more obscure and it involves those black dots on your windshield. These dots are called frits and they serve a critical function to the bonding of the windshield to the vehicle. Well, these truck engineers got pretty clever and they embedded a message in Morse code within the window in those frits. And if you translate these dots, they spell badass trucks. Now, these trucks are all pre-production vehicles, so some things may change between the time of this video and by the time they get to the dealership, but I'm really hoping this one Easter egg sticks around. And as for that blacked out A and B pillar, something did seem a bit off about it. It's not painted that way, rather it's some sort of a vinyl film. This looks fine from a few feet away, but it certainly feels a bit cheap up close. But overall, the all-new Toyota Tundra checks off all the proper modern truck boxes. It has really good looks, it's powerful, it's capable, and it has all those amenities, safety features, and technology that can make this truck into a comfortable daily driver. This new Tundra is a proper successor to the second gen, and I think it will serve Toyota and its buyers well for many years to come. Well, there you have it. That's the all new 2022 Toyota Tundra. I want to thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. If you've learned something, please consider hitting that like button. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe and that notification bell so that you can be notified anytime we make a new video. Let's wrap it up right there. This has been the 2022 Toyota Tundra. My name's Hanson, and I will see you next time.